Hi everyone, Patchman21 back with another marvellous unboxing. And today it's going to be Box of Matter. Bullseye. Okay, this is Box of Matter. This is a new box to me. It's a science box. Um, the costings for this are quite expensive. It's $40 uh, for the box, this little tiny box, and $25 uh, for shipping, which rounds up to $65, which is around about 46 uh, English pounds there, about depending on the rates and what have you. Now, I got uh, $25 off this, so this came in at um, $40, so £28.58 pence plus bank charges. Uh, which rounded up to uh, £29.93. That's after the reduction. So that's that's this. Um, now, the theme behind this is science. No Mickey Mouse stuff. It's full, um, three to five items, they say, uh, of artefacts and science you know, wonderfulness. Now, this weighs almost nothing. So I'm a little bit dubious, to be brutally honest, as to the the contents of it and will it sort of meet my standards as far as uh, you know what I'm after is concerned now it's they've already taken the money for the next one and that, that was the full price the full $65 so let's I hope I'm not breaking it let's have a look shall we and see uh, what we end up with so this is box of matter I'll put a link to their their site so they've got a, a web page uh, which I'll put a link to down there. And then we just quick look at stemcelltoulouse.com is their their, sh their shop site, and boxofmatter.com is the subscription site. So both of those will be linked there. I've got no referral codes for this, so there we go. So let's have a look. Uh, there's some cards on the top, so I'll read those. Uh, welcome, thank you for your interest in matter. As your maiden box, we put a lot of work into making this one extra special by including some of your favourite types of matter. We hope you enjoy as much as we... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Use the code darkmatter at uh, boxofcom for 10% off uh, new subscription. So there you go. Use dark matter for 10% off. There you go. Uh, aerogel, the lightest solid ever. So... Let's just see what we've got in here, shall we? I'll, I'll read these later. There's a, a sort of beautifully packaged, and I'm assuming it's very, very delicate, so it has to be packaged quite carefully. Um, there's this. I mean, it, is, it is quite light. It looks, I don't know, a bit gunky. <laughs> Tell me what you think it looks like. So there's that. Um... Nope, there's something wrapped up here, or is that just packaging? No, oh, no, there's a little. Oh, there's a little tube of something. So we have some material there. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll probably read the cards and see if we can identify it. And sorry about that. I don't know if my camera's off a little bit, but it just it sort of packed up on me. So, uh, so that's it. So we've got this stuff, this stuff, which I'm not quite sure about, and. This stuff, so some test tubes of bits and pieces, bits and pieces. So there is an item in there that's that looks like it's attached itself to the top of whatever that is. So I'll obviously do some close ups of this, um, hopefully, put something on the whirly gig. So I'm not sure whether that's supposed to be in the cork or not, but there, there that is. That looks like it, apart from this, Space Shuttle Atlantis STS-86, the attached piece of thermal control system blanket flew in space as part of the Space Shuttle Atlantis on the STS-86 mission from September 2006 to October 6, 1997. The mission lasted nearly 11 days, orbiting the Earth 170 times logging more than 4.2 million miles in space. 
so a bit of thermal blanket that's been to space. Okay, let's have a, let's have a little look at what we've got here. So we've got these little cards that explain which each one is. So aerogel, uh, the lightest solid ever. Aerogel is a group of materials in which the liquid portion of a gel has been replaced with, with a gas. It was first created as a result of a bet. The sample consists of 25 milliliters of silica aerogel particles. It is safe to touch, but may leave a sticky residue. Okay, I'll, um, I'll put these uh, details up as flown around here somewhere so you can pause and read information about this. So that's this fella. So let's have a little, little look, see. Oh my goodness, that is, oh, it's stuck to me now. It's got a sort of static cling quality to it. It does feel a little bit sticky as well. Hmm. Okay, so I've got some of that. I have absolutely no idea what to do with it. Um, I'll just research on it and, and see if it's good for anything. Next is the space shuttle uh, piece flown in outer space. So it's just stating that this was flown in outer space. So that's fairly cool, I suppose. Um, next, Mosaiosaurus 66. I hope I've pronounced that wrong. Uh, I'll put it up there. So if you can pronounce it better, by all means, do so. Uh, what is it? A 66 million year old tooth. So that's what that is, a tooth. 66 million years old. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, Mayasaurus was a type of large carnivorous aquatic lizard. It was technically not a dinosaur, but a reptile closely related to snakes and monitor lizards. Mazasaurus grew up to 50 feet, that's eight, uh, 15 meters long, and existed for about 4 million years until a mass extinction event that ended the Mesozoic period. This sample consists of a fossilized tooth that once belonged to uh, one of these creatures. So there you go, I have a tooth. That really is me. At least it doesn't smell. Uh, okay, ah, so this looks like meteorite fragments. So meteorites, uh, extraterrestrial fragments. What is it? Meteoroids are solid debris in outer space. When meteoroids cross, path, cross paths with Earth and enter our atmosphere at tremendous speeds, they become fireballs called meteors. Uh, when these meteors slam into Earth, the materials that survive, uh, the materials that survive are called uh, meteorite. The sample consists of fragments of the Nantan meteorite that burst in the air and landed in China in 1516. <laughs> I've probably overestimated this box a little bit. It's not what I expected. Don't get me wrong. I love what I've got. Um, I personally, I'll put the price up there. I don't think I'll be able to price this. Um, so whatever you see up there is going to be the very, very best I can do, which is probably going to be absolutely piss poor as far as costing this box is concerned. So apologies for that. I'm, I think I'm not going to continue this box, not because it isn't awesome. It is. I, I think all this stuff is fantastic, but I just really don't have anywhere to put it. I mean, some nice conversation pieces here, but where would I store them? What would I do with them? It's a bit, it's a bit, bit of a nonsense really. This would probably be better uh, if a school or a classroom chipped in uh, to have something like this every month, then did projects and stuff and research. That would be phenomenal. So my suggestion to uh, to Box of Matter or um, whoever they are would be to to go along those lines. There's some really cool stuff here, and I think a school for even if it was a one-off forty dollar this would be fascinating for me it isn't really my cup of tea so um thank you very much for uh for posting it over here um i'll cancel my subscription they've already taken the money for the next one so you may see another one if i'm lucky and they refund it you won't so that was box of matter uh tell me what you think in the comments i'd uh, i'd really appreciate that um do you think I should stay with this, or do you think I should uh, I should give it a miss? I personally think I should give it a miss. And again, it, considering the cost of it, and this took a long, long time to get here. Excuse me. It's you know I think I'm going to have to uh, 
I'm gonna have to give it a miss. But I'd love to hear what you say. Put something in the comments, tell me what you think of this, whether I should continue or stop. I've said the same thing about 50 times now, so apologies for that. So why don't we, uh, we do this then? Patch fact for today is that it is considered impolite to use a spoon to eat soup in Peru. Hmm. Anyway, I've been Patchman21. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye now.